David here with Fig Boot on Pens, back with another ink review. Uh, today I have an interesting ink from a company that you uh, may or may not be familiar with. The company is the Birmingham Pen Company and their ink is the Fred Rogers Cardigan Red. Uh, just a quick note to begin with, uh, I do appreciate those who have begun to support this channel via Patreon. Uh, it really means a lot to me. If uh, you like the content provided here and would care to support it as well, uh, there will be a link below in the notes. Uh, in regard to the ink, uh, what I'm going to do today is give a little bit of background info on the Birmingham Pen Company. Uh, we'll take a look at the ink, uh, and I'll give a little info on the uh, namesake of this ink, Fred Rogers, or as he's better known, Mr. Rogers. Um, if you're a little younger or from outside of the United States, uh, you may or may not be familiar with Mr. Rogers and his contributions to television uh, as well as American culture as a whole. Uh, he is really a beloved figure. So I'll talk about that as well. Uh, in regard to the Birmingham Pen Company, uh, it is based out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, run by a gentleman by the name of Nick. Uh, around 2010, uh, Nick's brother, Josh, actually started uh, a website called xfountainpens.com, which was a relatively small retailer, mainly of some Gin House and some other brands. Uh, it was around that time that Josh actually started his own pen company that you might be familiar with, which is Nemocene. Uh, Nick had helped his brother out and with the site from time to time, and when his brother decided to leave the retail business and focus on his own line of pens, uh, Nick took over and rebranded the site as uh, Birmingham Pens, or the Birmingham Pen Company. Uh, for a while, uh, he had a retail location as well in the Pittsburgh area. Uh, the retail location is now closed, but Nick hopes to open a shop in a new location in the somewhat near future. Meanwhile, he has his site. Uh, the main thing Birmingham Pin Company is really becoming known for is their inks. Uh, they have a really nice selection on their site of some very interesting colors, uh, each of which is named for something in relation to the Pittsburgh area. Uh, they have one named for, for uh, Andrew Carnegie and one after uh, Frank Gorshin, who played the Riddler in the Batman television show, uh, and another after Andy Warhol. Uh, there's a bunch of others as well. But... As I mentioned up top, uh, the ink I'll be showing you today is named after Fred Rogers, and that is the Fred Rogers Cardigan Red. Um, I'll discuss more about Fred Rogers here in a bit, but uh, in case you don't know, he hosted a children's television program here in the United States, and at the beginning of each show, he would sing a song, and as he would sing, he would uh, take off his dress shoes and put on tennis shoes, uh, as well as take his jacket off and put on a cardigan sweater, um, which is why this ink is called Cardigan Red. Now, I don't own any cardigan sweaters, but in honor of Mr. Rogers, I wore one of my favorite hoodies, uh, one that I've had so long that I've worn out both elbows but refused to throw it away. I'm sure everyone has clothes like that that should have seen the garbage long ago but they just uh, really don't want to throw away. Um, in order to take a closer look at this ink uh, and learn a little bit more about Mr. Rogers, let's take the neighborhood trolley over here to camera two. Okay, here we have the Birmingham Pen Company Fred Rogers Cardigan Red. Um, this is what the bottle looks like. Uh, I really like this bottle. Uh, this is their 30 milliliter bottle. Uh, I believe that they also have a 60 milliliter bottle for most of their inks. Um, I like the shape of these glass bottles. Uh, the mouth is plenty wide for just about any pen. Uh, you know, I do prefer the kind of tall and skinny bottle uh, as opposed to those that are a little shorter and wider. I'm talking to you, sailor. Uh, there, there's actually something uh, kind of old school about these labels as well. I, I really like them. Uh, I also like that it has a date on it. Most ink will last for a very long time, but I kind of like seeing the, the bottling date on there. It just kind of adds something to it, a little personality. Uh, and then this is what the ink looks like. Uh, that it is um, a, a nice red that is not too bright and cheerful. I mean, that it's a, it has a little bit of a darker tone to it. Uh, in regard to some comparisons, here it is with uh, Thornton's red, which is a little more vibrant. Uh, here it is with a Diamine Poppy red, which is extremely vibrant. Uh, here's something a little more uh, darker with the Mont Blanc William Shakespeare Velvet red. Uh, it's not quite as pinkish as something like Toucan Crimson. Uh, this is it with Pilot Orochizuku Momiji. And then here it is with a Diamine Matador. 
So you can see how it compares with all of those. Okay, and then here is what the ink looks like on paper. Uh, we have the Birmingham Pen Company Fred Rogers Cardigan Red. Uh, that uh, This is Rhodia 80 gram paper. Um, I really don't find that it has much bleed through. Uh, and the shade and sheen is a little bit on the low side. Uh, usually what I do over here is I lay on the ink rather hefty with one side of a Q-tip. And then as it's still wet, I turn it over and pull it over. Uh, so you can see some of the shading there. And you can see that it doesn't pull over that much so that even though I laid it on rather thick, it was rather quick drying. And so uh, that it's, it's kind of wet on the page, but then dries rather quickly. Uh, and you can see here with a number of different passes with, uh, this was with a, uh, a pilot uh, parallel uh, 2.4 millimeter uh, that uh, it gets a little bit darker with more passes uh, but not necessarily tons of, of shading or sheening. So in regard to some writing samples, I have three different pens. Uh, the first of all is a pen that um, you'll see reviewed here in a little while. It was given to me by uh, Van S Pens, which is a Wingsung 698. And this is having, or this has a fine nib. Then for a medium nib, I have this Classic Pens LM1. Uh, and this is a, a rather juicy medium that is almost more on the broad side of medium. Uh, and then finally, I have this Visconti Rembrandt, which was actually sent to me courtesy of Goldspot Pens, and you'll be seeing a review of this one shortly, uh, as well as a giveaway, so you'll have a chance to win this very pen. Uh, and this one has their calligraphy nib, which is basically a stub nib, uh, that is very, very pleasant, that I like very much. Not to give too much away about the review, but it's a very nice stub nib. Okay. If you're under 21 or from outside the United States, you might not have an understanding or appreciation for Fred Rogers. Uh, the toughest part of this review was figuring out how to appropriately convey the magnitude of impact that Fred Rogers had on children and the American culture in just a couple of minutes. Uh, Fred Rogers, uh, otherwise known as Mr. Rogers, is one of the most important and influential figures in the history of American television. Uh, he wasn't just the host of a children's television show. He was was significantly more. Uh, he was a moral compass. Um, he was the host of Mr. Rogers Neighborhood, which aired on public television stations here in the United States beginning in the late 1960s. Uh, on his show, he would speak directly to viewers about various issues. Uh, he would take us on factory tours, conduct experiments, do crafts, perform music, uh, and interact with different characters who would visit his home. Uh, there was even puppets, uh, most of which were voiced by Mr. Rogers himself. Uh, the key messages of his show were that you are loved, you belong, and to treat others with kindness. Uh, during his time on the air, uh, the real world contained a lot of confusing events, and the messages for kids were often uh, very confusing as well. But everyone knew that they were welcome in Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. I could talk about this subject for over an hour. It really deserves it. Um, if you'd like to learn more about Mr. Rogers and his tremendous impact, uh, there is a fantastic new documentary out this week called Won't You Be My Neighbor that tells the story of Fred Rogers. It looks at the incivility and hatred that seems to surround us lately and really asks, you know, if we need Mr. Rogers more than ever. Now, Mr. Rogers passed in the early 2000s, but his legend is definitely one that lives on in the hearts and minds of the millions of people he impacted. Okay, so for some writing samples, um, I wanted to use some quotes from Fred Rogers. So first of all, for the Wing Sung, one of his quotes said, peace means the opposite You know what? I messed it up. Let's see. Peace means far more Peace means far more than the opposite of war. One of his quotes says that there are three ways to ultimate success. The first way is to be kind. The second way is to be kind. The third way 
is to be kind. Uh, and that was one of his overall messages, is, is just be kind. So, in regard to the next pen, we have the Classic Pens uh, LM1. And another quote for him is... It's there is no person in the world I, I like you, and I like you just the way you are. Uh, he really in instilled confidence and, and made you feel better about yourself, no matter who you were. Okay, and then finally, one more quote with this Visconti Rembrandt, with the stub nib, the calligraphy nib. It says, love isn't a state of perfect caring. It is an active noun like struggle. Um, you know, he, he had said that to love someone is to strive to accept that person exactly the way he or she is right here and now, which is a good lesson for all of us. Uh, in regard to some other things about the ink, uh, that I do find that the flow is rather wet. Uh, and that the drawing time for a fine uh, really maxes out at about 15 seconds. And you can see here with the medium, it was still a little wet at 15, but once it got to 30, it was totally dry as well. Um, I, I do find that this ink uh, to apply rather wet, and, and I wouldn't call it fast drying, but it dries faster than I thought it would. Uh, and then the next thought is that I do think that this is a very nice shade of red. It's a little darker uh, and not a vibrant cherry red, which is one that I, I don't enjoy like the cherry bright ones as much as I do some of the muted reds like this. Uh, and then finally for a quote, uh, Fred Rogers Cardigan Red has become one of my favorite reds. It, it is well behaved, look nice, and looks nice, and reminds me of someone very special, which is true. Um, this is what the uh, the ink looks like on some rodeo on some I'm sorry some Tomoe River paper. Uh, I laid it on rather heavy, uh, and so that's why you can get a little bit darker um, spots here. But for the most part, you're not going to get tons of shading. Um, there was a little bit of bleed through, but I actually laid that on pretty thick there to see what how it re would react. Um, then let's here let's do a water test. And while that sits there, let's take a look at the chromatography here. Um, I, that I don't find that uh, this is pretty much a solid red. And you can see as the chromatography goes on that there isn't uh, a lot of other colors that go in there. It's just some, um, some darker shades of, of red and some lighter shades of red. Uh, this is what the chromatography ended up looking like. Uh, and you can see there's not much in the way of some darker elements, but uh, there is just a little bit. Uh, I kind of like the, the chromatography uh, in doing that. These strips are kind of cool. Uh, and seeing the colors break down is kind of interesting, so I like that. Okay, and then let's take a look at how waterproof this was. And you can see that the vast majority of this came off, so I would not consider that to be waterproof at all.
the last thing on the subject of Mr. Rogers that I'll mention uh, is, you know, back in 1969, the U.S. government was going to pull public broadcasting uh, funding tele for television, and Fred Rogers spoke in front of a Senate subcommittee. Uh, you could find this video on YouTube. It's amazing. Uh, he sat down in front of a committee who was ready to cut funding, and by the end of his testimony, uh, testimony that emphasized how television had the potential to give kids hope and create a more productive society. Uh, he had changed the minds of the committee, and not only did they not cut funding, they actually more than doubled it. Uh, that was Fred Rogers. Okay, um, I do highly recommend you check out that documentary. Uh, there's even going to be another movie coming out soon where Tom Hanks plays Mr. Rogers. So uh, look for that. To, or look for there to be more Mr. Rogers talk in the media for quite some time. So until next time, thanks for watching. And to use the words of Mr. Rogers in the song that he would close out each show with, he would say, it's such a good feeling, a very good feeling, the feeling to know that I'll be back when the day is new and I'll have more ideas for you. And you'll have things that you want to talk about and I will too. Goodbye. <laughs>